Let's disable Sandus. Now we are going to look at how we can transfer data that is in DWG or BMX file for, uh, to KML file format. KML format is the one that's supported by Google Earth Pro or even the online Google Map. If you go to the normal website, you go to my, my map, Google My Maps. So this data, when you, once you convert it to that version, then you'll be able to display it in the, the Google Map. Also, you'll be able to work with it in the, in the Google Earth. So here I have my data uh, already plotted. It was a uh, uh, sewer lines. It's a real data. So this data has been plotted in uh, AutoCAD Civil 3D uh, in DWG format. So the first thing we are going to do here is to insert location, which are uh, uh, we are going to uh, set the the GPS system for this uh, file. As in, we are going to do this from map. We need to want to as in we want to use online map. You have to do this so that uh, your data is related to the other one. So. In this case, I had already done this, but I'm now going to wait so that you can have a look at it. So, in this case, the marker was dropped here. And this point, I had this coordinate is at this point. So, it's still loading. So, I'm just going over it because I had done it already. So, uh, I was dropping the marker there, then select the location, then setting the angle of orientation. And thereafter, setting the coordinate system. The coordinate system is what you need to define before you proceed. So, after doing that, it's not loading, it's loading very slowly. But uh, so I'll go to next and show you. So, in this case, uh, this was the coordinate system. The GIS coordinate system that I'm talking about is the UTM 84 37, degrees, uh, 37 south. This is the areas within Kenya. The, Kenya uh, is on this 37 south UTM 84 time zone I selected for Nairobi being Kenya then go to next that's how it was done to finish so map was off there that's why you're not seeing it but uh, if I toggle it on then it will now load now this uh, once my file has this one been active as you can see it now now uh, we can comfortably say that our map is now on as a, the, uh, uh, the coordinate system defined. Now from here, what we're going to do, let me toggle it, toggle it off. It's taking a lot of this, lagging it. Now from here, now we're going to use the exp map, map command, map export command. So you just type map, export, then you enter. Then it will automatically bring you to the format of Google. So in this case, let me put it to uh, tutorial, tutorial from DWG to KML. I'm saving the desktop. Okay. Then we are selecting one. Okay. It is done it so once it's done that file now is in our desktop now i have google, google i can open it directly from here and in so doing you'll have it now displayed in the the google app it will go straight to that location So the, 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 these, these are our lines now. You can see them now. Well, let me set it real well. Let me reset the tilt. Okay, now you can see our lines clearly defined within. Yes. So basically, that's how you do it. Uh, even if you go to, uh, sorry, if we go to my Google, Google my map, Google. Google My Maps.
the home page of my Google Maps, Google My Maps, which is a lot of data. Okay, let's see how I get out of work now. Okay, set it up. I was working on okay, let me just do this. My map. My maps. Yes. I want it to be my app. Create a new page. Create new. I want to just see how it comes now. Click new. Now import. Now remember our file is in the in the, the desktop. So I will just come to the desktop. It's called tutorial. Open it. Then it loads. There is it. You can see the, the colors. The, the colors are not that. I think uh, the issue with the colors, so you're not seeing them clearly, but you can see the lines have been, uh, been captured there. So basically, and you can edit. You can edit these colors, by the way, they are not cast in stone. So you can change like uh, you can select that color, it's going to change and you see it reflect in that way. Yeah. So basically this is how you do it. This is how you do it, and that's how you export it. Just using the, the command once you define the the JL plugin system, then you are good to go. Just be sure when you are converting this one and uh, when you are setting the coding system because you need to know what coding is like in this case. I know the coding of this point and I will I will comfortably identify it. Sorry for that I'm running. Uh, I will comfortably define it when I load my map. When I identify the point and click on that location, put the peak there, then rearrange it so that I define the north and south. Just the north, the, the angle will define the north. After that, you are good to go. You can go in and use the map export command, then you have it. So that's how we do it. And that's how. See you in our next video. Thank you.